And we continue to follow breaking news at 6 tonight. Uh, the Fox affiliate in Columbus reports a police officer is now out of the hospital after being shot. Now that shooting happened around 2 o'clock in Columbus. SWAT, Columbus Police, the Muskogee County Sheriff's Office, and the GBI have now surrounded a home in that area, and the SWAT team is moving in. Now, Fox 5's George Franco just arrived on the scene. He joins us now live with the very latest there. George? Well, today, and Russ, we're trying to assess the situation, get specifics from the Columbus Police Department, but this is what we know right now. We're in the Midtown Columbus area here at Hilton and Cherokee, and behind me, you can see a lot of activity involving lots of police cars from the Columbus Police Department, as well as the Muskogee Sheriff's Office. From what we understand, as you folks indicated, this started around 2 this afternoon. Something led to an officer involved shooting. The specifics of that are still unclear. We will find out later, but... We're told from the mayor's office that the officer was shot and that the officer was shot in the upper body area and that apparently his bullet resistant vest saved his life, uh, that the officer was taken to the nearby hospital and that the officer was treated and released. This all according to the Columbus mayor's office, which brings us to this point right now. We understand that the SWAT team is in place and may be making moves or taking action to get inside to the this home where this incident uh, began a while ago, two o'clock, if you will, I have been told by various uh, witnesses that there were three flashbangs indicating that the SWAT team was moving into that house, but we haven't had any confirmation of that from the Columbus Police Department. We're waiting to hear what happens next. We've heard conflicting reports that there may be somebody inside that that person may not have been inside there at all. We will hear from the Columbus Police Department a little later, but if you bring it all around, it leads to an officer who was injured, taken to the hospital and released, and a gunman who may or may not be in there, and this very active situation. We'll stay on the story and bring you updates as they develop. But for now, in Columbus, I'm George Franco, Fox 5 News. All right, George. Well, we are also following some